setting transmission network oscillators to overdrive. Broadcast beacons running at 110%. RAID 5 hard drive structure spinning at 10,000 RPM. System ready for control handover. As you pick every song about to be played. This is Most Wanted Music Radio You Control with Vodafone ready to go on 2FM. The number one music station. Here we go. We're ready to go, all right. You want to get your tune on? Text me Vodafone 87 772 0000. Little Big Brothers DJ Sammy to come, but first it's Christina with 2FM. After all you put me through. Interesting. Very interesting. They were the first words out of my mouth this morning. I can... I'd look at the paper and I saw the headline, Nicker, Nicker, Nick. But a guy stayed up like four nights in a row with his video camera so he could catch the guy next door nipping over the wall trying to steal or return his daughter's underwear. Nicker, Nicker, Nick. What a headline. I said to myself, today is going to be very interesting. Hope you've had an interesting day as well. It's Dusty Rhodes banging out your most wanted songs. Thanks to Vodafone. If you want to get a little message played on the air tonight or a tune, check out the most wanted list in the Echo and Star newspapers and tell me what you want to hear. My number, Vodafone 87 772 0000. What is all the big tunes for you this evening? I have got news on free text alerts and how they can get you tickets to go see Eminem and have your picture taken with Samantha Mumba. With your brand new Vodafone Live picture so phone. Oh, yeah. I've been high most of my life. And a dream is just to wish that heart makes. People used to tell me, tell me, tell me just what kind of heart they were looking for. It is 2FM on a fine Wednesday evening. The big game. On in Lansdowne Road tonight, uh, Ireland versus Georgia. Now, I do know that there is news from Lansdowne Road, and I do know that a goal has been scored, but that's all I know. Uh, John Kenny, can you tell us more? I can, yeah. It's absolutely good news from the Republic of Ireland's point of view. They've had the majority of the play, and thankfully, they've got a goal for themselves yes! in the uh, 42nd minute. A free kick by Kevin Kilban out on the left hand side. It actually took an age to get the uh, free kick floated in because the rest Spanish referee was very fussy in moving the Georgian wall back the required 10 yards. He finally did that. The ball was floated in by Kilban to the back post. Gary Doherty and there the big man who scored against Georgia in the first game in this group when Ireland actually beat the Georgians he headed the ball to the nets and the goalkeeper Namia just couldn't keep it out such as the power in the header that's his fourth goal in 18 internationals and a group proved to be a very precious one Ireland leads just on the half time marked by a goal to nil thank you John and uh, any more news you give us a shout back all right we will good man it's DJ Sammy and Sunlight with 2FM <laughs> Femme Dusty, that's brand new from uh, DJ Sammy and uh, Sunlight. Still got Radiohead to come for you. Uh, my local Craig David, uh, R. Kelly and Ignition for you as well. And uh, did, did John Kenny forget something uh, down at Lansdowne Road? What's the story there, John? Uh, I forgot absolutely nothing, but uh, it is half time here and the Republic of Ireland is every lead by a goal to nil at half time. The goal coming, well, they like to score late in the half to nil against Albania late in the game. They scored late in the first half here and the goal credited to Gary Doherty. Good downward header. The go Georgian goalkeeper got a hand to it but couldn't prevent it from getting into 
through the back of the net. Doherty scored now three goals in the last three internationals, including one in the win against Georgia earlier on in the group. But the Georgians have threatened a couple of times. Asiante had a shot just over, and Stephen Carr had to clear off the line just after Doherty had scored. But on the balance of play, Republic of Ireland deservedly lead at half time, one to nil. Excellent. Uh, thank you, John. We we'll get back to you if there's any more news. Uh, hello to Caroline and Alana and Elaine and Cross Haven to send me a little text message. And Cheryl and her crew are down on the Gale Talk tonight. They're very, very bored. Looking for a tune. Got Lisa Scott Lee and lately come a fan of tech. Sometimes in life you feel the fight is over, over. And it seems as though the ride is on the wall. Mwah, mwah. O2 in the park. For all the details on Ireland's biggest free gig ever, read the Sunday World and stay tuned to 2FM. Subject to license. Maybe. What was that, George? Oh, I think it was the television, dear. But we don't have a television. Neighbour. It must be the neighbours. But there isn't a house for miles. Oh, I'm sure it's nothing. See? It's gone. <laughs> nothing to worry about. Are you expecting visitors, George? No. Don't take chances when the nibbles are around. Get a bowl of your favourite Kellogg cereal into you. The refreshingly low-fat snack that fills you up when you need it most. Kellogg's. Fancy a snack. The late night vibes are good. That's right, Vibes Nightclub. Cork's newest venue is open Wednesday through Sunday. Enjoy top city DJs like Carlos, Rucka, Mr. P, KC and lots more. Vibes Nightclub and Newport Cafe Bar. Old Street Plaza, Cork. Most Wanted with Vodafone ready to go on 2FM. Most Wanted. The biggest song. The hottest hit. All chosen by you. 2FM. Hello to Anita studying for the junior set at the moment and she says that she's really, really, really handling the whole pressure thing because she keeps listening to the town I loved so well over and over and over. Oh my God, Anita, you, you so need help, girl. Dusty Rhodes banging out your most wanted songs of the day with Vodafone. Tell you how you can win free tickets to M&M &M next. Something caught my eye, chilling out tonight as you walked on by. Something caught my eye, chilling out Lisa Scott Lee by request on Most Wanted. Now, let me talk to you about text alerts because they could win you tickets to Eminem. They could win you a face-to-face -face meet and greet with Samantha Mummy. You can take your picture with her, with your Vodafone uh, live picture phone, all right? Text alerts. You can get them on almost anything, like the, the football match tonight. I bet you there's a text alert so that if you can't watch the match or whatever, your phone will go beep, beep every time there is a goal scored. That's the kind of thing we're talking about, and you can try them for absolutely free. You've got the showbiz news as well as football. There's a previews and all the soaps, the latest update for Formula One, and a whole list of others which you can get on WAP on your mobile phone or on the Vodafone website itself at Vodafone.ie. Now, if you want to try one out for a month, you can do that now and get into the draw for the tickets. Here is how. you got to try one of the text alerts by subscribing to the GAA text alerts. It's dead easy. All you got to do is send this text message, free sub and a space and a GAA to this number, 1745. Now, tomorrow night, I'm going to ask you a question on GAA. If you're text number 8, I will give you not only 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 tickets for you and your mates to go and see Eminem, but a brand spanking new Vodafone live phone, which you can use to take your picture with Samantha Mumba when you get to meet her at the launch of Clearasil's new Total Control skincare range. Mmm, sounds good. And I bet you Samantha used that Clearasil Total Control as well, because she's just perfect. Negotiate fancy, sir. I didn't say that. Anyway, subscribe to GAA Text Alerts now. Free sub GAA as a text message to 1745 and listen after 8 on Thursday for the winning M&M question. That's tomorrow. Remember, you can try any of those Vodafone text alerts for free for a month. You get all the details on the website at Vodafone.ie. Now, Rick, it just so happens to be in the studio. Is the answer DJ Kerry? 
<laughs> I'm just playing my psychic thing. Here. Yeah, so DJ I do have a question for you, Rick, that somebody oh, has sent me in on, on, on text. Now, I'm going to try and find this. Actually, maybe I'm going to send you on a mission for me in a second. See if we can get an answer for this, this, this person, okay? okay? Now, it's for a poor old Leaving Cert girl in the Midlands at the moment, okay? Yes. Okay. It is her mate's 18th birthday. Mm-hmm. And she wants to know where in the Midlands could she find out about hiring a stripper. Fantastic. I mean, I'm very knowledgeable about such things. I really am. Excellent. Well, me being, being, being the virgin where that to, I am. Yeah, I want to know where to hire a stripper in the Midlands. I'm the guy to talk to. Absolutely. Yeah, so go on. Um, no, I'm joking. <laughs> I know nothing about strippers. Not since my 18th birthday. Sorry. I bet if you looked at entertainment talk. under entertainers... In the golden, in the golden pages. pages, I would think so. Ent- is that entertainers or entertainers with an inverted comma on each side? Entertainers, quote unquote, yeah. Entertainers, mm. quote unquote, mm. very much so. So, listen, your mission can you do one song? Can you like around the building? I'm going to find the golden pages in this building. The Excuse football me. song, yeah. This, okay. this is RT. It is the National Broadcasting Organization. This is the creme de la creme. It's, it's, it's the top of the tree, buddy. This is where. The- where did you read that? Is that in this year's Promise of Performance? I, I've just remembered, yeah. Okay, that's us, no. <laughs> Do you know the worst thing about here? No. The curtains don't even work. <laughs> and Rick is laughing because he's looking out <laughs> the window and he's because I know. The are in because the curtains don't work. I know. While we try and find the golden pages, see if we can find some strippers for this girl. Oh, what about, would you do it? Go away! Stop! I'm a married man! <laughs> so what? They're not going to touch you. Is from Maloko and Forevermore with 2FM. Can't say I'm very surprised. Uh, Rick and myself have been running around the entire building looking for a copy of the Golden Pages or the Yellow Pages or whatever. Uh, not a sign. So then we came up with the ingenious idea that uh, we are the Millennium Kids around here. So let's have a look online. So I had a look online because we're looking for a stripper for this girl's uh, 18th birthday somewhere in the Midlands. All the suggestions somebody sends in the text message. Went online and uh, I said, uh, entertainment, just, you know, something nice and, you know, generic and, and uh, to get back loads of results. I said, generic, uh, somewhere in the Midlands, mm, awfully. Let's just see what the hell that returns. Uh, my search returned zero. Nothing on their entertainment and awfully. Oh, my God. So anyway, we tried Dublin. Because if you're going to find one, God knows you're going to find one in Dublin. And uh, stuck in stripper, searched Dublin, and I uh, got a telephone number. And I rang him to see what the story was. Was it guys? Was it girls? Was it both? How much was it? Will they travel to the Midlands? And uh, it turns out that the place I rang looking for a stripper was one of those tool hire places, so no luck. Terrible, sorry about that now, missus. Craig David with 2FM for my baby sister Joanna Breen in Donegal. Uh, see you next week for a shopping spree. Love from Rise the Message. Hello to uh, Katie from Kerry as well. Also to Martina in uh, Tipperary looking for R. Kelly. The Ignition, the remix. I got that on the way along with uh, Mickey Hart. We got the world tonight uh, for... Uh, t- now, there's no name on this text message, but maybe when you hear it, you will understand why they haven't put their name on it. But if you think you're having a bad day, if you think you're stressed from exams, if you think you're stressed from work, listen to the, this person did today and what they almost encountered and what they got away with and you will say to yourself oh man am I lucky the text reads Dusty I asked this girl today you know to be with me to go out on me and she said no and right now I am thanking God Almighty himself because I found out this evening that she's me cousin. Two supergroups, one stage, one glorious night. Don't it all seem to go? Only weeks to go to the concert of the summer. Killarney Summerfest proudly presents Counting Crows and the Cranberries. Live at Fitzgerald Stadium, Friday, 27th June.
Tickets only $39.50 on sale now. Following their sellout Irish concerts last year, Counting Crows and the Cranberries return for one night only with special guest Jesse Mallon. Tickets on sale now. For more, see TV3 and 2FM.ie. Freeze! Just put it down, kid! Huh? Just put it down, son! It's only a bag of chips, mate. That's right, son. It's only a plain burger, a naked hot dog, and criminally plain onion rings. Now just relax and pass me the chips. Get your own chips. Don't be a hero, kid. Now just kick them over to me. Relax, man. Yeah. Here you go. Hellman's Snack Sauces, policing the menace of nude food. Thank you. Thank you, Hellman's. New Hellman's Curry Ketchup Snack Sauce. Make your food too good to waste. Hail to the Thief, the brand new album from Radiohead. I search a dream. A musical mind bomb that captures the darkness, the brightness, the energy of Radiohead. Hail to the Thief, Radiohead's most powerful album, out now. Right, all set for the big move. I wonder if I can use my driving license. For passports, press 1, visas, press 2, language, school, press 3, dodgy foods, press... What? Vaccinations, press 1, citizenship, press 2, first aid, quickly, press 3. Or you could just click on oasis.gov.ie. It's a government website with all the information you need for living, working or holidaying at home or abroad. Click on oasis.gov.ie and remember, access to the internet is free in your local library. This number is no longer in service. Oasis is a Corla initiative. Most wanted with Vodafone ready to go nightly from 8 on 2FM. Now, usually I don't do this, but uh, go ahead on, break them off with a little previews of the remix. Now, I'm not trying to be rude, but hey. Now, hang on a second, we gotta, we, we gotta stop everything here for a second. John Kenny, you there? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, come on, tell me, what's the news? Well, you probably uh, guessed the fact that the uh, Republic of Ireland have got a second one, and that came on 58 minutes. A little <laughs> ball over the top, uh, back here, well, not back here, but uh, over his head from Lee Carsley, into the path of Robbie Keane, beat the offside trap skipped by a defender and slotted it calmly into the back of the net. That adds to Gary Doherty's header on 42 minutes. The Republic of Ireland are on the way here and deservedly lead by two goals to nil. Thank you very much, John, for the update. And back now to R. Kelly. Now, usually I don't do this, but uh, go ahead and break them off with a little previews of the remix. Nice one, two on, uh, or two up to Ireland, I should say. Only Mickey Joe had that kind of look now. She stands under moonlight. She touches her hair. Number one for music it is 2FM and all next week with Dusty, Rick and Connor G. A chance to go ultra VIP style to witness. Forget the queuing. The tramping through the mud, you and your mates could be heading there in your very own private 2FM tour bus. Starts this Monday exclusively with Dusty Rick. Conagy, right here, nighttime 2FM. Make sure you're listening out for 8 o'clock. And remember, if you want to grab yourself eight tickets, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tickets to go see Eminem. On top of a brand new Vodafone Live picture phone for yourself. With which you can take your picture with Samantha Mumber when you meet her at the launch of Clearasil's new Total Control skincare range. All you got to do is fry up for Vodafone free GAA text alerts. Send the word free sub, a space, and GAA to 1745. Got it? Free sub, space, GAA. To 1745. Not only will you get to try out the GAA text alerts absolutely free for a whole month for yourself, but you could be in the old jar tomorrow night for Eminem tickets. You get to meet Sam and the Mumba. Fantastic. Somebody sent me a little text message, heard it on uh, Most Wanted last night with Rick. They liked it. Club Hoppers and Bobby Joe. Bobby Joe, Club Hoppers wrapping up most wonderful for tonight. Back again tomorrow at 8 o'clock. 
after 4.06 right here on 2FM. Stand by Rick O'Shea coming for you in a second with uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers lined up for you, some frames, Missy Elliott, uh, the Pixies, 50 Cent, all to come with 2FM. The 2FM Roadcaster, coming your way. This Friday afternoon, 2FM will be in Dundalk, where gun property auctioneers at 18 Clambrazzle Street is celebrating 50 years in business in the Northeast region. To mark this occasion, plus launch the company's new corporate logo, Gun Property will be announcing the winner of a free draw, which will see someone walk away with a cheque for €10,000. The winner will be announced on Gareth O'Callaghan, live on the Roadcaster from Dundalk, between 2 and 6 this Friday on 2FM. The 2FM Roadcaster, coming your way soon. Are you studying for the Leaving Certificate? Do you want to get the best results possible? Well, it's nine o'clock. The Equality Authority has confirmed it has issued legal proceedings against Port Marna Golf Club in Dublin because of its ban on women members. The authority is going to the district court to ask it to declare that the club is in breach of the Equal Status Act. If the court finds that Port Marnock is a discriminating club, it can be it can suspend its certificate of registration for thirty days. This eight. I'm Shane McGowan. That's the Two FM News. Two FM weather with permanent TSB, the first choice of home buyers. Drive in most places overnight, clear skies at times, some scattered heavy showers also, lowest temperatures 8 to 11 degrees. In sport, let's first get the latest from Lansdowne Road and John Kenny. Well, 17 minutes to go here in the Republic of Ireland. Well in control, leading as they are by two goals to nil. They had most of the play in the first half and got the deserved opener on 42. A free kick by Kevin Kilban out on the left-hand side. Floated to Gary Doherty and he headed home his third goal in third game. He scored against the Georgians in the first match and he scored here again tonight. And they certainly have been well in control. The second goal came on 58. An overhead kick by Lee Carthy. He found Robbie Keane who skipped past the defender and slotted the pass to George keeper Lomia that was a super finish from Robbie Keane his 16th goal in 44 internationals Darcelia though had a shot which was pushed over by Shea Gibbon which has been the only real threat the Georgians have posed in the second half there's one uh, bad point I say about this game is that the booing of the Rangers player Shota Aberladze is just a plain silly there's no point it's absolutely pointless we've got uh, 28 minutes gone in the first half the Republic of Ireland seemingly on the way to a well-deserved victory as Carr swings in the corner towards the near post it's headed clear back to Carr he's got a half a chance to uh, sling it back in again towards the back post and the Georgians eventually clear it but uh, 16 minutes to go Ireland lead 2-0 and Switzerland lead Albania by 3 goals to 1 Bernd Haas Alexander Frey and Ricardo, Cannab- Ricardo Cabanas with uh, the goals while Alton Lala has scored for Albania England uh, trail Slovakia by a goal to Sorry, is that your mobile phone pouring? <laughs> Just checking Okay Continue, yes, sorry. it was. Well spotted. Um, That's fine. Maybe it's another goal in another game. You can check in a minute. Go on, go on. <laughs> so, England yeah. trails Slovakia by a goal to nil. Vladimir Jokano after 31 minutes. That's uh, from Middlesbrough. No score to report between Northern Ireland and Spain. The All-Ireland Under-21 Hurling Champions Limerick began the defence of their title with a 2-13-2-9 win over Waterford in Kilmallock. Here's Martin Kiley. Oh, you want me to press that thing now, yes. right? Sorry, Instantly. I was just watching Robbie Keane rattle the, the crossbar. Sorry, hang on, here we go. Robbie. All Ireland under 21 hurling champions Limerick jumped the first round fence this evening here at Kilmallock after they were made fight all the way by a brave Waterford team. The first half was played at a poor pace, but credit to Waterford, who took the game to Limerick and should have added a lot more scores given their possession instead of their 1 5 to 1 3 lead at half time. The second half produced some great hurling as both teams played it wide and fast. Limerick, however, with points on Pat Kirby, Morris O'Brien, and Niall Morden, had matters level at 1-8 apiece by the 16th minute of the second half. Limerick added more points, but a snap goal from free taker Andrew O'Shocknessy, his second of the evening, turned the game in Limerick's favour. Tomás Carney did add a goal for Waterford, but it was all too late. And in the Leinster Championship, Kilkenny beat Offaly by 2-18 to 10 points in Port Leisha. In rugby, there's 11 changes to the Irish side for the match against Tonga. In New Calotha on Saturday, the only four survivors are Gervin Dempsey, John Kelly, Shane Byrne and Reggie Corrigan. At Leopardstown, the 8 o'clock went to number 7, Bosch directed 8-1, to one. the 8.30 was won by number 6, Ek Biog at 6-1. to one. I'm Port Lodge, that's 2FM Sport. All right, all right. It's like, and I need Amateurs. to press this button. <laughs> Fick off. You're only here. learning, aren't you? Fick off. Rick O'Shea. <laughs> man who was in here the other evening encouraging Siobhan Madigan to get up on a podium to do her sports bulletin. Yeah, no comment. Fine. 9 to 11 is on the radio. If anything happens in the last uh, 15 minutes of the footy, we'll let you know. Here's the Chili Peppers. I...